right, so on my uh, new quest to build a really power efficient uh, media center without it taking very much space, I've come across a pretty good solution so far and I'd, uh, I'd like to share it. Uh, here we got a, uh, a kilowatt power meter and my HTPC is currently plugged into it and it's in standby where it's just basically shut down. It's only consuming uh, one watt of power right now. And what I've done is I've taken an, an old uh, RDM media streaming box, uh, it's the Neocast G5. I've ripped out all of its guts. It's originally used to run off of a little Windows CE operating system. And uh, I've just got a nice little Asus board system plugged into it. Here is the, uh, the power supply that is plugged into that kilowatt guy. And this power supply here is... Uh, 12 volts at 6.67 amps, so that's right around uh, 84 watts ish. Uh, but um, I'm just going to turn it on right here. Got a little bit of a power button, get my little light comes on here. And uh, the motherboard that I'm using is Atom based, it's a AT5NM 10 I. Uh, it's got the uh, D510 CPU running at 1.66 gigahertz right now, and uh, right now it's complaining that I don't have a keyboard plugged in because in order to sit, consume less power, I'm actually using a Bluetooth power adapter rather than having the box power up a uh, a keyboard. And uh, just for demonstration purposes, I actually put on here uh, Windows 7 Pro just to have a look to see how well it will perform. And uh, I'm using a little blue take mouse here and an old school rocket fish keyboard. And uh, the two have been doing very nice. This guy here has got some media keys on the side. And this little mouse here is about, I think it's about 800 uh, DPI. And it's got a scroll wheel. And it's kind of nice for what it is. It just runs off of a AAA battery. And uh, anyway, so there we are. We're all uh, we're booted up into my Windows system. Uh, so here's the awesome part that I want to show you guys: is the power consumption is under 25 watts. How is that for being totally awesome? So I'm just gonna move this around. Here. This light and this whole thing sucks the balls. There we go. And now I'll show you some of the specs that's on this thing. Uh, I'm going to go up here. I'm running a pretty gigantic source for resolution. So let me just get to where I want to go. And then I'll show you up close. <sighs> okay, so we've got uh, one gig RAM. Yeah, the Windows experience, 2.9. Not like the best score, also not the worst score either. Got a gig of RAM. Um, now for the hard drive, I've got a little um, one terabyte uh, SATA. Actually, let's just bring this guy up here. Little laptop drive, and it uh, does the job nicely. So what I'll do is I will shut this guy down, and uh, we'll take this guy apart, and I'll show you some of the guts and some of the modifications that I had to make to make this thing work. But still, the uh, the fact that we're getting such a low, low power consumption is absolutely amazing. Uh, and this thing can run H B uh, the XBMC like no other. And uh, that's pretty cool. So let's just grab this guy. Screw this in. All right. Here's the motherboard box. Let me turn off this light here, save on some battery power. Off. There we go. 
Now I put in two screws. Here's the front of the device. Here is the back. Oh, I lied. I put in three screws. So we'll quickly take these guys out here. Now, originally this was a fanless system, which is funny because then it would even consume even less power. But uh, I got a little scared when it started hitting uh, close to 80 degrees. So I put in some fans. One more here. Just gonna put the phone down for a second. Now to show you guys the guts. Okay. So this guy right here, this is uh, my little like I don't know, Scorpio or whatever version of the uh, serial ATA hard drive. Uh, this is right here, this is part of the power supply. Really, really tiny little thing. And uh, it takes that laptop type power supply which consume, consumes about 80 watts. This whole sucker will do 12 volts. You can input 12 volts right from the car. This entire computer right here will run from from the car. Um, the connectors in the back, we've got PS2 uh, mouse and keyboard, our COM1, our video. Uh, we've got some uh, USB 2 guys here. That is gigabit printer port, LTP, who knows why you'd want to use that. And we've got our uh, surround sound or whatever you want to call it on the back there. Uh, it does have a, uh, what do they call it, LVS connector or something like that? I can't remember what they're called, but it's basically uh, like a low voltage video connector. And uh, it does require this little pin 4 guy, so I need to get a Molex to uh, ATX power converter. And then I also needed to convert the 20 pin power over to a 24 pin power. I bundled up the uh, SATA nice and tight in there and also needed to uh, create a bit of a power adapter um, to uh, work with both the Molex and SATA. So I basically took apart another SATA power adapter thing and then kind of pressed it onto the existing Molex one. And that all jiggity jams together and the sucker works. So uh, as you can see, the board, when it comes stock, is fanless, completely zero decibels. These are just some cheap little fans that I actually took apart just now out of uh, a uh, fish tank system that I had. There's some cold cathodes. Actually, they weren't all that cold. They are uh, compact fluorescents. They are really, really bright and really, really hot. Stole those fans. The fans aren't the quietest. So I'd like might replace those later on, but those are unmounted in there really nice. But that's it. So that's my 22-watt uh, consuming... HTPC, I don't have a CD-ROM, everything gets, uh, I installed Windows 7 using a CD, uh, USB CD-ROM, then I unplugged her, and, uh, and I got that one terabyte drive, and the sucker is awesome for, uh, for the amount of power it consumes. Try building a regular size home PC, even using a 350 watt power supply, and see if you can get to consume less than 25 watts of power. Good luck. This is a pretty cool system, and I suggest it to others wanting to build the same thing. Um, um, MemoryExpress.com have a really good 80 watt power supply based case right now for under $100 and this motherboard was under $100, it was $99 I think and uh, a hard drive about $120 and let's see what else that's about it oh and the RAM, DDR2 RAM not fast but hey everybody has DDR2 RAM kicking around and that's about it